Hi everybody, Craig here from The Dog Therapist and this is obviously little Nelly here, my working Cocker Spaniel. What we're going to do this week is we're going to work on how to transition from going from on the lead to off the lead. There's a few little techniques and strategies that you need to do. So shall we get started Nelly, shall we crack on? Nelly says yes, come on, let's get it done. Okay guys, the very very first thing is, is if your dog doesn't heal like this, then whatever you do, don't even try think think of you even thinking about trying off the lead. So so when you look down and you walk, your dog should be in this position before you even think about trying off the lead. Nelly heel. So can we see where Nelly is? So Nelly do, doesn't go forward. You can see where she is to heel there. She doesn't move. She doesn't go past my knee. As you can see, there's the knee. Yeah. So when you look down, this is what you need to see. If you don't see this, promise me you won't take the lead off because if you do, you're just, gonna set, you're just gonna set yourself up for failure. So this is where you need to be first. Okay guys, the first way I do it is I wrap the lead around the dog's neck, pull out a tiny little handle. So let me show you what I mean. So I wrap it round, Wrap it around again, and then I'm trying. It's kind of hard to do this at the moment. I'm holding the camera with one hand, and so can you see? Like I've pulled that little handle out there. So the lead, as you can see, is around Nelly's neck. You can see there, there's a tiny little handle at the back there. Now the first thing you want to do is is you want to relax. I know it sounds a bit silly. It might sound a bit stupid. It might sound a bit daft, but you've got to relax because if, if you get yourself all anxious and you get yourself all het up, thinking, "Oh my God, the dog's going to run off." Guess what's going to happen? Your dog's going to run off and it's not going to heal properly. So the first thing is take a few deep breaths and just tell your dog to walk to heal. So Nelly, heal. Get the dog to walk to heal nicely. Nelly, heal. Get the dog to walk to heal nicely, just like Nelly is now. Ah, ah. Don't let her sniff the ground. So just like so. So now the dog's walking off the lead, but the dog actually thinks to themselves that they are walking on the lead. Okay, so just like this, the dog will think that it's walking off the lead, uh, on the lead, sorry, but you've got, you aren't even holding the lead, but you've just got to do it nice and calm and relaxed. That noise you can hear, by the way, is a helicopter. It's somewhere in the, sit, it's somewhere in the woods over there, way over there. It's behind those, those trees, if you can see those trees over there somewhere. Okay, guys, the next stage is, what I do is, is I literally then, We'll just drop the lead by the side of the dog and we'll walk on. So, so something like this. I'll just dro drop the lead by the side here. Nelly, heel. And again, if the nose goes down, what do we do? We just correct. Ah, ah. Nelly, heel. Good girl, heel. Simple as this. Okay, as you can see, we're walking. This is kind of hard, actually, to walk and video at the same time. Are you sure I'm doing it right? So as you can see, Nelly's walking good. We're not holding the lead at all whatsoever. The lead's on the floor. Okay, guys, the next stage is, which is the big stage. So what I do is I take the lead off the dog, but then I let the lead dangle by the side of the dog. This way, then again, the dog still thinks that you're in control, that you've still got the lead. So let me show you what I mean. So we take the lead off the dog, heel, we hold the lead then by the side of the dog, just like so, and then we walk on. Nelly, heel. Good girl, heel. The dog then still thinks that you're in control because you've got the lead, but as you can see, the lead isn't around the dog's neck, but the dog looks at you and checks you out. Good girl, heel. Good girl. So this is your next stage. Might be a bit of clunking because the lead is clunking along by the side of the camera. Pop the phone. Then we stop. As you can see, the lead is not attached to the dog. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's what's been making all the noise. That helicopter is just flying off there. <laughs> okay, everybody, the next step is obviously to take the lead fully off, and I'll show you how to do it and how I do it because. 
there's a there's a really there's a really specific way that I feel that you should do it before you do it before you even take the lead off. I think what you should do is you should walk up and down. Try also oh, oh, try to find a position like this, like a place like this, where the dog can't go left, the dog can't go right. And I, I always find that works better. But before I take the lead off, I'll really check the dog first a few times um, and make sure it's under control before I do take the lead off. So watch what I do, and like I say, pop, pop it into your into your puppy or your dogs, and let me know in the comments. And tell me how it works for you guys. So really sharpen the dog up first before you take the lead off. Really important, in my opinion it's really important, because I just think it gets the dog under control. Again, you saw Nelly was going to sniff the ground there, put a little tug on the lead. Really get that dog under control before you take the lead off. When you take the lead off, do it like this. You see the control I've got with Nelly? Yeah. We go round, we turn into the dog. You can see control is really good with Nelly. Yeah. Practice walking up and down, Nelly here. So sit get to that stage and then once you've done it put the lead back on the dog once you've done it put the lead back on the dog put the dog away leave it later on today and then start again keep doing and doing and doing that and you'll progress you'll get to the point then when you get like Nelly is where you can walk on and off the lead really really simple there's no tugging there's no there's no being in front, anything like that, and you then can get your dog to where you want to get really, really quickly. But I've always found, for me, if I follow those simple steps of going up somewhere where the dog can't go anywhere first, a bit like um, recall, you do it in the hallway first. So find somewhere like this where you can walk up and down really nice, really easy. Do follow the steps where you wrap the lead around the dog's neck. You then drop the lead on the on the side of the dog, and the last one is then you have the lead dangling by the side of the dog. Do those first. Do those for at least at least two, three weeks, maybe even a month, before you even think about taking the lead off the dog. But obviously, same as anything, it's hard work. You know it is to, to get the dog to do things you want to do. It's repetition, repetition, repetition. But whatever you do on each stage that you do, whatever you do, don't move forward until you've conquered the first stage. Make sense, everybody? Okay, everybody. This is the end of this training session, the end of this video. I think this is going to be the last one of 2023. So if, if it is, and if you're watching this before Christmas or just before the new year, we wish you all, me and Nelly that is, we wish you all a happy Christmas and a fantastic new year. And don't forget with dog training, sometimes it could be that you feel like you want to just rip your hair out because it can be so annoying. It can be so, like it can just literally do your head in, but it's repetition, 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 repetition. And following the, the number one golden rule, which is don't let your dog get away with anything because if you don't correct a bad behavior, behavioral pattern, remember that your dog is going to think that you think that it's okay to do so. So you must correct those bad behaviours with your dog. Now, in 2024, wow, it sounds a bit weird to say 2024, there's four ways that we can help. We can do one-to-one -one training when we can come to you and train you and your dog. The second way is, is we do online coaching support where you send us your WhatsApp videos. We get some great video results that way. The third way is, is we do classes um, in Newcastle, under Lyme, in Staffordshire, and we start in, um, in Maidley near Crewe and Nantwich in Cheshire as well. One's a Monday night, one's a Tuesday night, and they're both £20 per class. And the last way is we're going to do some uh, group 
group behavioural walks where we're going to have dogs that are reactive, that are jumping all over the place, that can't walk to heal or that are barking at other dogs. And we're going to get a group of those together and we're going to walk in town centres, we're going to walk in countryside, in the countryside. And we're also then going to go to pubs as well, so like dog friendly pubs and cafes and things. And they're all going to be under my supervision, so we'll be able to fix those bad behaviours for you really, really quickly. So, there's only one thing left to say now, isn't there? Hey, guys, look after yourselves, stay safe and happy training and we'll see you all in 2024. Have a good